I'm looking for blight. <laughs> What's blight, Angus? So the chestnut blight is the fungus that has decimated the American chestnut throughout its historic range. It forms these orange cankers on the bark of an American chestnut and it feeds on the inner bark and it girdles the tree and kills it down to the roots. Where did the blight come from, Angus? Um, the blight was brought to the United States on Asian chestnut trees. That was in the late 1800s and it was discovered in the early 1900s, 1904 in the Bronx Zoo and it spread at a rate of 22 miles a year across the native range of the American chestnut and it wiped out basically the entirety of the American chestnut population. What is anybody doing about this, Angus? That is what our entire mission here at the American Chestnut Foundation bum, bum, bum. to uh, restore the American chestnut. Part of that is developing light resistant populations of the American chestnut. The question is, do Cassie and Denny have blight? I do not currently see any blight. They look pretty healthy and blight has these characteristic orange cankers on the stems. It can be on the main stem or any of the branches and they make these little orange dots whenever they're producing spores. They're introduced in wounds in the bark, so if like, the bark gets cut or a deer rubs against the tree. So you may notice that Cassie's growth form is quite different from Denny's. She does not have a single stem. She has, she has three stems growing from the root color down here. Relatively recently, it looks like Cassie died down to the ground. And these are root collar sprouts that have come up. So this growth form can be caused by blight, but we just asked our director of science, what's Jared's title, chief science guy, his opinion on if this tree had ever had blight. And yes, the growth form is similar to a tree that might have had blight and died back down to the roots. But because he sees no evidence of blight on these trunks now, he says it's unlikely that these trees died back from blight and more likely from pests like ambrosia beetle. So that's why they have such different growth forms. Lots of sprouts, single stem. Thanks for watching. Sorry we <laughs> brought you such a bummer, but there's good news. We are gonna beat this. Right, Angus? Yeah. Optimism. <laughs>